mobu site na mangama mobu site na mbo banke kwensu ni mo bo dandi ni na di chiche we were corona virus with no munde madam nam kebere de ngozi ndi ne butara oria onye nwanyi na chineke na nki gwa ina adoli ki we wo ha kamanyi ne kpere kpere we ka si cha we na si gi bikoche be biafra chebu mu ge bo nde biafra be ni ha no no woni ne chebe ndi ezio mu me chebe ndi ni ne bo ndi na agwa oria mandi di bi anke o yibo man ke ndi ba anyi na nke bere de ngosi Bundi nele katani ne bundi na aja ho coronavirus. Ai we na aliyoge na kebele. Kiwe choga chinga zuni mendo mugini ne. Kiwe dhaba nendo na lankendi nendo. Kiwe chebe IPO biyeze bube dengosi. Kambia fronte jo magi kurani na unta we biyonse sonse son. Ato fugu mbezi chine kena kani ne fwe na kusiala ni. Ni kani yomo ni chioza mo boga na nge. Owe onye ozanye na isi alanye ewe sugage. Onye mwem na chine kena nkiwe. Onye nele tomo ya bonde IPO bino wanine. Biko bia kiwe gozi endege. Bia kiwe kutigi danye na nkebele. Bia kiwe mekande nyanya nine. Bonde na hori ya hojo kule nidi hori ya batano. Kahawe sinuto hori ya wekunie. Kahawe bake. Kiwe gozie kahara bonde na hali horia. Kiwe weraka wamo horia gena nkebele we leta ha. Kiwe gozie nukurobi ha. We bulie mwohe luonye mwem na chine kena. Ni hina mwage bo horia nkasi bia mwage mwade dendu mwale ya. Mwabe kwe nsubu tara nye mwem na chine kena bini gwe bikonu. Bia kiwe meno mwage bre na opa suche ligwe kaiji we nefe ki we na jage mwa. Hani we na ajo geze ndieze na sige biko mwa oso oso kiwe bia so potandeye. Bia panu nguwa nguwa kiwe bia nyana nyaka. Le kwa kahara bundi na mwa nyi mbopuru. Le kwa kahara bundi kudini sina bia furaga ya abione mwa mna chine kena nkiwe. Bia kiwe tinye lidi etu anuzi ya. Bia kwa kiwe tinye wabagala. Nenu wabagala ni mendu dide tuwa. Tumwa dendi na chobo le kwe subu zuu na njiria. Bia kiwe gasa siyatu matuwa joha nina. Misa. Bia kiwe choga chinga asu. Ni hile nko uwe hana nke bele dengoze bo kahara bonde na achi umo goche. Na se hile kwe kahasi uwe ni zuzu. Uwe na se nandi na achi umo no uwe bonde nzuzu. Onye uwe mna chine ke na kiberi bendi di etuwa. Uwe mwobani mendo ha. Ma le kwa nye uwa nye bonde na achi lugi. Le kwa mwge bonde biafra no uwa nime. Ndi ti uwe uwe ntu kwa siyobi. Ndi na chote huna anya nebele ni ilu yeze bo bede ngozi. Anyo wanyo bundi mweze huna nyebe nzo puto yeno. Obi yambe ni mbe ni nanyi nasi nan kedi so nanyi gebuli gelu. Chine ken nan ki gwanyi gebuli gelu. Onye ke lipe makelo wanyi gebuli gelu. Anyo bumu obo nyewe no nanu kumpezi chine ken na dengoze. Biko biyo so so. Hello him. Oba si bini kwe kiwe nzo puto yeno. Niki nanyo mwe onye nzo puto yeno sugari. Biko natu fuku wala mbe. Na no tuto na na sopro na rejama o neke libe make no wa. Si te ne bi jebi ma wone bi jebi. Ise. Ise. Anada sevyo. Holy, 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 holy. BM. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPO families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army to fight. They were singing out Holy, 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 holy All the men were true
Yet another great leader has risen up now. Oh, and he's leading the Biafra to victory. In your Madika, I Singer, 
Afro Striker Afu Malo Tania Opa Woki Sifi Owayeno Abala Afu Mwe Benuku Maka Biafura Odogu Mwano Filindia Ipe Mena Yonenu Wama I I welcome all of you. I welcome all our li all of our listeners all over the world. I also welcome brave and courageous Nigerian youths who are out on the streets conducting this inevitable revolution. Chukwokika Biyama is in heaven, God Almighty. 
presiding over the affairs of men. There is one thing that God has done for us for which we are going to remain eternally grateful. He has given us wisdom and the ability to discern. Ability to distinguish between liars and truth tellers. Charlatans and genuine servants of the people. If there is one thing that we have learned over the years, is that victory will always belong to the righteous. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. This is a live presentation. We are live and we are direct. And the time now is 25 minutes to 9 p.m. in the blessed land of Biafra. 25 minutes to the top of the hour, regardless of where you are. That is how you know we are live. If the time is not 25 minutes to the top of the hour, then you know it is recorded. But we are live now and direct, and Chiku Kikabiyama is bearing us witness from heaven. My name is Ennam Dekano. I am the leader of the largest mass movement on the face of this earth, the indomitable and exceptionally powerful IPOB all over the world. I am the director of Radio Biafra and Biafra Television. And by the very special grace of Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. We are going to pray. <laughs> Week. <laughs> oh dear. On a man, one cat and a bingo, then one again, which is she. Week. <laughs> oh dear me. We are live and we are direct. Chine ken and kigo na bora nyakebe. That this honorable family established by heaven, IPOB, will deliver Biafra and will deliver freedom. Let us praise the Most High Elohim. That is a prayer we are all going to pray this very morning. All of us. If you have another device, if you are listening via an internet, a portable, or even your computer as the case may be, we are going to pray a simple prayer this morning and we are going to pray psalm number 70 as part of our prayers because people are sorry actually it is actually um psalm number three which is a prayer that i pray every morning psalm number three psalm three please the book of psalm Chapter 3. The book of Psalm. Chapter 3. I have been praying this prayer for nearly four years. Every morning without fail. Sorry. Yes, every morning without fail. I pray Psalm 70. Every 6 p.m. Biafra time without fail. For the past four years. We are going to pray Psalm 3. Psalm, the book of Psalm. The book of David. Chapter 3. Chai. And by me, care of all people that IPOB fought for and died for to ensure that the same people he's serving now do not remove him from office. <laughs> oh dear. These stupid Biafran politicians, they are useless. But let us call upon Elohim first of all. 
Is your new one in a chinaken not in sobbing igwe? Nay, no basso sell you can't get you a giant mamma told you no botching get up. Um, we never get to no one in there. Nay, and I don't am a man alone sorry. Nina Brandy, full and your deep batter. Would I go away, Panya not to you? And you were ten and get to more to o mori we zu ko no wa ni ne we ne to ri ni ne pe ra ni ne pe na nwi ke ga nu ya o ga nu ya na su su eli igwe na o ba su su igbo ko bo ni hi ra nya so nwi ke bo ni igbo ko bo o we na agbara fula ni odibo onye nwem na chineke na ga agbara nyo bo e ga agbara ipo bi o bo ike jide nwi ke malaya ni Open on the Gibuchina Kenna. I want the Candido to wear Waco every in the teacher. I want it to have to wear more by when and make it in the home of the IPOP in one in the Umuchineke. On the demand that you are Bundi Kuni when a Busanyaga. Oh, for the name may have Bundi Litre when I say Nene Makaka is in a chineke way, Piana Benedetuano, Manacabo Guasi. Nay, no, for none of you, but you like and Nakusuni like and Dago, Nakarin, Nakarakam, and Wago Nakaria. Bunya Nature Bandigi. Oh, for none of you, Bunchanki, when Konyaka Bunkabra IPO be a clean or one in Oh, book a matter than two. They do IPO be up on an again. Oh, for none of you, Bubani Nina. Oh, for the Kanijan, you see when a morning. Oh, for Governor Bunya Budran Yellu. I want a rat my torch on in a candino. And you were never best like a No, Toto, I were never put your pepper tap. You were so no boon sorry, a better cassava in any ways than yet better. And you dinner, Naban, where I hung in coma, Monday dinner, Monday one hour, Lee, Nijan in a bonobo tracker corner. A quad they got one in Abany in Nemo in Mirikiti Kahara Bundino Bundabran, you click in Ebelina. Kunye is a better than Gossi. They in open anagi bony in Zopota. Open anagi bu chinekin and keprumi henina. Open anagi come one a modern abisia lanya. Open anagi beze catasses and in a loo. Open anagi bu soon in lake and the aga. Nihi Niku one deal on yakana, where is a way tapo hanon. Iku won we kakana was a way tapia no no. Nee, nandi de tu amagichineke. Janja we damagichineke. Nesna hana and don't draw to china lance of a biafra, amagichineke. Hama yoni wam den gossi. Ige memila hano to nutu. Ige gossi hana bugibu chineke napumi hedina. Ige ji we can wear gossin di osa no banana gibonet in yan yosi. Zapotabo sauce and Akare con is your young woman. O poor and Aka mother didn't. Kangozi Amaragin or Mikori were non immediate IPUB. Kamami and King Nsuko Eliqua Kenonoa. Go away, Moba Ebu Moreno. Nyanya Mami. Nyanye akonuche onye wamu. Nyanye honanya. Mekoreta wane na wane. Koga apuni pete mazu. Na leze giga hapu eligwe. Dikisi wecho. We wana tane lowa. Eba honga baba taba alansho ni bu nkebu biafro onye wamu dengosi. E titu wanine. E titu wanine. Kinyere we buru kendi no. Kama lagi ne bure ge hona nyagi na meso magi. We no ni mu mu India. Bo IPO bi no wani ne. Sita ne bi gebi maro ne bi gebi. Ise ise ise. I am now going to pray another prayer for Nigerian youth. I will pray in English for Nigerian youth everywhere. These brave young 
revolutionaries, not just in Nigeria, but in the diaspora, because they have now woken up. We are no longer going to be deceived by their gang up and their useless plans against us. Somebody asked me many years ago, how come you are always, IPOB is always fighting on all fronts? I said, because the harder they come, the harder they fall. They always underestimate us. We can, you always, you think you can underestimate IPOB? Do you think you can ever travel outside again? Is that what you think? I'm asking you, do you think you will ever travel abroad again? Is that what you think? <laughs> you are finished. You are finished. Now listen, let us pray for the young brave people out on the streets. They are going out today to do what God has mandated. You see the year 2020. God mandated it as a year of liberation and a year of freedom. It's now very, very clear to all and sundry that the people you refer to as your politicians is a, is a cozy club, a gang up of the wicked and the corrupt against innocent children. These children are out on the streets and we must pray for them. Everywhere, we must pray for them. Without a revolution, you cannot have a civilized society. Say, I told you so. Without a revolution, you cannot have a civilized society. I told you so. And that revolution is going on, and civilization is coming. Let us pray for our brave young Nigerian youths. Be thou exalted, O Hashem, God Almighty in heaven, the God of Shadrach, of Meshach, and of Abednego, this God that changeth not, from eternity to eternity. Be thou ever present, O Hashem, God Almighty in heaven, the God of Shadrach, of Meshach, of this young Nigerian youths who are out on the streets doing that which you ordained from old. O God of wisdom, direct the counsels of these honorable people and in any assembly that they may have formed. Enable them to settle things on the best and surest foundation that the scene of blood may be speedily closed, that order, harmony and peace may be effectually restored in a new nation not in the zoo, Nigeria, in a new nation. That harmony and peace may be restored in their various new nations. And truth and justice, your knowledge and piety, prevail and flourish amongst the people. Preserve the health of their bodies and vigor of their minds Shower down on Nigerian youths and millions of them all over the world such temporal blessings as thou seest expedient for them in this world and crown them with everlasting glory even in the world to come. All this we ask in the name of the creator of the heavens and the earth the Alpha and the Omega, the author and the finisher, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of lords, 
Chuku Okike Abiyama Prumi here in the God Almighty in heaven. He say, he say, he say, do you know there are those who are working against the kingdom of God even in heaven? That is how they have gathered to work against us. We are starting this very morning by doing what we always do. Anytime we go after somebody, that person has committed an unspeakable crime. <laughs> we can, with your little Hitler mustache, nobody mustache, you know, that small, you know, that mustache is Hitler mustache, Adolf Hitler. With your one chuncha Adolf Hitler mustache in Iguacha government house, that white man named slavishly named River State. You think you can challenge a mission ordained by God Himself? You people, we are there. When Fulani Janjaweed, these are Fulani hardened terrorist soldiers disguised as ordinary people, went to Obi and was killing our people. You said nothing. Wike, you are the governor of River State. Governor of River State. You are an Igbo man. Igbo presence in Igbo Chan, which is Igbo land for your information. Of course, our Izon brothers and Ogoni and all the rest of them are there. But we are all from one family. Everybody is Igbo, you know that very well. Because you said you're a lawyer. We can, you we are in River State when we were celebrating Trump victory or should i say trump's victory there is need for me to be grammatically exact Macandiota. we we are in iguacha celebrating trump you as the governor we are there when they opened fire with their snipers on our people killing many of them you are the governor and today we are going to send you all their pictures, those that you killed. And I'm asking our ever resolute and formidable media teams to assemble the videos and the pictures of those killed in Iguacha. Assemble it. That we can, may see. We can, we are going to show you what you did in Iguacha. If I am not mistaken, I think it was the 20th. I think it was 2016. It was 28th of February, isn't it? Something like that. The, or the 20th of January, the inauguration of Trump. Are you paying attention? Our people were slaughtered and killed. These are Biafran people. These are Igbo people on Igbo soil in Igwocha. That the white man named Port Harcourt. Because the place is called Port Harcourt and the state is called River State, you think you can hide the identity of the people. You think that you can be part of those modern day saboteurs working for foreign interest, working to become the vice president of Nigeria, serving your master. Tambua in Sokoto, disguising it as helping or working for our people. I need you to understand something very clearly. You have taken on a fight that will destroy you. You are finished. 
you can no longer in this life win any election. It's over for you. Anyway, Biafra is coming. I'm talking about Biafra. He said Biafra, you cannot because the zoo is gone. We, uh, we are going to send you the pictures of those killed. And I want to ask you, when your people were killed, round about the 20th of January, if I'm not mistaken, of, is it, no, is it 27? It was 17, 18, 19, 20, which means it was in 2017 that you did it. Around the 20th of January. People were being mowed down. Did you not see it? Please, people should go and as I'm talking this day, some of you who are on my page or listening elsewhere, as I'm speaking, please, I'm begging you, go and be researching and putting the links on the thread that the world may see it. The whole world carried it. The massacre of IPOB in Iguacha by the federal government of the zoological republic of nigeria Nwike was there he was the governor and he said nothing and whilst you're doing that i want people please to do a very simple thing i need you to do something very very simple that the world may know that we are always right. I want you to go to your URL on your Google, and as I'm telling you, I am also typing it in. I want you to type in on Google, Fulani Headsman Attack, River State, Fulani Headsman Attack, Rivers State. Google it. I said, Google it and look at the results. And before we go any further to read out some of the headlines, we can have you banned Mietiala of Flony Headsmen in River State. Have you ever referred to them as a terrorist group? That is to show that you are a Fulani stooge and a Fulani slave like the rest of the Igbo governors. You hate your people. You pretend you love your people, but you don't. There is nothing. You are the PDP version of uh, Okurawasa, who is in APC. You pretend, with you pay lip service, that you love your people. You are a governor in Biafra land, in Igwocha, Igbo land. You are pretend the white man divided you and said, Oh, you are you are uh, uh, what are they calling them? Or you river state or whatever it's called. Go one created you. Go on. That praying hypocrite created you, and the whole Niger Desta nonsense came into play. Because we defeat you with facts and with figures. I do not lie, the facts speak for themselves. And then the people can join all the dots together. We can, you're a governor. Fulani terrorists are killing people in River State. Have you proscribed them? Has any governor, any Fulani governor condemned what their bandits are doing? Did you not see that they were holding meetings with their bandits? Have you not seen it? You want to impress your Fulani masters. You want to impress them. We can, I want to, you, I know you're listening, of course. You listened. You got upset yesterday because I said you're a lucky to Tambuwa, the Secretary of State Governor. You, you got upset. And you made your foolish, stupid broadcast on our land. The land of Biafra. People like you were used during the war. Like David Clark. Used and dumped later on. 
people like if people as idiotic as you are, they were used. And now most of them are in their 80s and in their 90s. And they would say, oh, Nigeria is not working. It's not very good. We must do something. They are the ones campaigning and championing restructuring. They are failures the way you are now going to become a failure. They thought they were doing the right thing. But they were blinded by greed and ambition. They wanted to serve their fallen masters the way you're doing right now. We can, if you go to Google this morning, you are the governor of River State. Type in Fulani Headsmen Attack River State. You will see what is going on in your state. And I want to ask you, have you prescribed them? Now tell me what IPOB did to warrant your prescription. That we defied a curfew. On only. And I said to hell with you and your curfew. Any, any of you idiots calling yourselves governors who you think you can just wake up, we declare coffee, yeah, stay indoors. That person is an idiot. It will be defied and people will continue to do what they're doing. It's a revolution. Get used to it. And it will consume you. We can, if you go to Google right now and any other person for that matter, I know that your uh, your masters and their supporters, both from the north and the west, and some idiots here. All of you, you have your your irats, isn't it? All of you have your irats. Uh, bring them out for demolition. Tinubu thought he had uh, might and irats. Nigerian youths demolished him, and he's outside now. They are going to do something to you. We can, if you go to Google, you will see armed headsmen have kidnapped and murdered a 2019 governorship aspirant of River State. His name is Shoala West. You know him? He was aspiring to be governor. Now we know you are working with Fulani terrorists in River State. He wanted to challenge you and you connived with Tambuwal, your Fulani masters, and he was killed. It is there. It is the number one news, actually. And I'll read it for you, Wike. <laughs> oh, dear. You, you are challenging IPOB? You're not, you're not afraid. You're not afraid, Wike. You're not afraid. You think you have those little oh, 45 cult boys you have? Is that what you think that will defend you? You're not afraid? You're not afraid in the midst of a revolution to mention IP. Because Fulani Tambuwal is behind you. You have a Fulani master. <laughs> I dear me. We care you're a murderer. And you should be proscribed. I'm telling you, this morning you cannot travel abroad anyway. Ask Chibike Amechi what happened to him in Spain. What will happen to you? Because if you want war, we give it to you. This war is going to be fought on multiple fronts until victory is guaranteed. You must understand it very well. Weak armed headsmen kidnapped and murdered a 2019 governorship aspirant in the same PDP that you're in. He was murdered. Shuala West. It was learned that West, who comes from Abonema, Akukutoru government area of River State, was abducted at his poultry farm behind OPM in Igwacha that the white man named Port Harcourt on March the 12th, that was last year, and found dead on Wednesday evening. Further findings and pictorial evidence showed that West was brutally killed by armed headsmen 
the same people you are now defending in and around the people. The same people killing our mothers, our fathers, our brothers. It's only IPOB that is stopping them. The same people that you asked to kill your rival for the PDP ticket. The same people. They killed somebody in your state where you are the governor. The same state where in 2017 your own people were also slaughtered by now your good friends the Fulani. Did you ban them? Mike, did you ban Fulani headsmen? And that is only number one. There's another headline, June the 4th of 2018, when you were the governor of the state. Headsmen attack Rivers community and abduct women. Mike, I want to ask you, did IPOB attack any Rivers community? Did they abduct any woman? I'm asking you. We get those that abducted people in River State and attacked communities. They are your masters. They full any people that belong to the same ethnicity as your master, Tambua, the governor of Sokoto State, who is controlling you. The same mistake that Chibik made, Chibik Amechi, the transport minister, is the same nonsense you're doing. Chibik Amechi used the money of River State to fund a dictator, a dying, decaying dictator. And look at where Nigeria is today. The same way you want to use the money of River State to support Tambuwa, another Janjaweed from Sokoto State, to run for the presidency. So they can make you the vice. That is how foolish you are. But you're a lawyer, isn't it? We can. Headsmen attacked a reverse community. They abducted a woman. June 4th of 2018. Did you proscribe or ban the activities of Fulani headsmen? Ndubisi, have that in mind. Did you? The answer is no. We continue. On May the 29th of 2018, after mail, they attacked rivers. In June, they attacked rivers. We did you ban Fulani terrorists. Don't you know that IPOB is fighting these terrorists in River State? So you don't know. What do you think is the problem in Obi? Fulani are kidnapping and raping our mothers. And we said no. Can't you read the news headlines? We care, I'm asking you, can you not read? Sorry, Trump was 28th of January, 2016. I apologize. 28th of January, 2016. Are you listening? Your ERATs will come out today. They will come out tomorrow. But by this time next week, or grind them, you know, like you know, like powder, powder. You know how powder is. You know when you bring corn and you're grinding it until it becomes a flour. We are going to grind them until they become useless and irrelevant. I know you will bring them out now or tomorrow to be uh, saying, "Oh, is a propaganda? Is this?" But I said, anybody who has access to any internet-enabled device, go and type. In the search engine, Fulani headsmen attack River State. You will see the atrocities and impunity of Fulani people in River State. And I'm asking you, Wike, did you make any pronouncements banning them? Did you? Do you understand? We are coming gradually. We are going to get. We want to lay out the facts so the world can understand why or why and whether. Go and ask your brothers, your fellow brothers in crime, your fellow Igbo governors, that we are as stupid as you now are. We start very slowly to build the case against them, slowly so that people can understand. 
So that when we get hold of you, you are finished. We can, I want people to leave your stupidity. Go to Google, type in Fulani headsmen attack River State. And I want to ask you, Wike, what have you done since they've been attacking River State? Fulani headsmen. You did nothing. It's IPOB. The same, IP, the same thing that Igbo governors did. Uh, the same thing that Umahi tried to do in Ibo. To prescribe, to ban IPOB so that Fulani headsmen can take over Ibo state so that his masters in Mietiala can give him vice presidency. The same nonsense you're doing. You people are possessed, all of you. You are possessed. We okay, you are finished. We are coming. Oh, what are, I, oh, I am building our case against you very slowly and very surely. We can headsmen attack reverse community, May 29, 2018. Suspected Fulani headsmen attack a man in his farm in Rivers. Fulani headsmen kill 12 in Rivers. Fulani headsmen attack popular GSM market in Eleme Junction. Fulani headsmen attack on Aku Town and Enviro. Are you listening? These are all the attacks by Fulani terrorists in River State. And I'm asking, I am asking Wike, did you ban them? Did you ban Fulani headsmen in River State? Now, Wike, Fulani headsmen have been killing and murdering people, even killed your opponent during the PDP primaries in River State last year in Iguacha. Wike, did you ban Fulani headsmen? Now I want to ask you a very simple question. Because my question is always very simple. Compared to what Fulani headsmen have done, which citizen in River State did IPOB kill? I'm asking you a very simple question. You said they defied curfew. People who defied curfew and people that killed fellow human beings, which crime is worse? I'm not sure you are able to tell me. Now, I want to prove to the whole world, I want to prove to the whole world that you are part and parcel. You are... When you come out on TV and on radio, you talk and you shout. And we are receiving information this morning that the toad, who I don't know what is wrong with you people, the same river state, the toad, the pig, the, pig, the pipeline pig. Maybe Britain is doing their best uh, to divide as always. But you have failed. We can, you are part of the problem of Fulani terrorists killing our people. And I have proof. We can, they have camps, you know that, in Iguacha. Opposite oil mill market behind First Bank and Zenith Bank, it is now called Gariki Oil Mill. Are you aware of that? All because you want to become the vice president of the Zoological Republic behind your master tambua somebody that you're older than that's all you, you come out you all you only you, you are only strong when it comes to your people ipob we destroyed the zoo today do you know that the president of whoever they call the president of nigeria cannot do a live interview do you know the reason why ipob do you know that today the person they call their president cannot come outside? Do you know those that made it possible? IPOB. If we can destroy whoever they claim is an Asorok, Wike, who are you? Did, did your advisors tell you that you succeed? Or the, when the British came to promise you that you are now going to become 
the new uh, uh, warrant chief. They didn't tell you who we are. Did you see the protest in London? Did you see what that professor was saying? He's a Yoruba man. Did you see what he was saying about going to Downing Street and what is happening? Are you aware of how angry people are? We can, you are finished. We can, I'm asking you, you gave our land at oil mill market behind First Bank and Zenith Bank to your Fulani masters and their terrorists. It is now called Gariki Oil Market. There is a place called Yam Zone by Okra Market in Obibo. You gave it to your Fulani terrorist friends. Behind Peter Odeli Medical School at Obibo, there's a place they call C for I Police Checkpoint. There, Fulani people have set up a roadblock and they are collecting toll from our people. We can have you seen it. There is a place called Trailer Park by LMA One Road. Fulani people, terrorists, so they have a camp there. Do you know there's a trailer park at LMA by the river at the back of the Wu Company? Do you know that Fulani are camped there? Disturbing, harassing, and raping our daughters. There's a place called Elabuchi and Kampala Lane in Diobu, in Igwo Cha. We can, you gave it to Fulani Jangjaweed. These are your friends. You want to become the Prime Minister. Those that you have promised a job when you go to Abuja as the VP to Tambuwal in 2023. We are waiting for them to come out. The same way that people who we are hoping to benefit from a Tinubu presidency are crying today, trying to, 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 to flip the narrative to, to become tribal and ethnic. But they failed woefully. We came at MPA Wharf, you gave land to Fulani there. These are terrorists killing your people. Even at LMA Petrochemical Junction, there are Fulani people camped there. You are aware. Now, let me tell you why IPOB is upset with the Fulani terrorists you have given our land to. In their defense, you came out yesterday to utter the garbage that you did. This is my first broadcast on you. I am only calm because I want all the facts to sink in. The time we start hunting for you, you will understand how serious we are. That's your little mustache, Hitler. You grow it like hard man, Hitler. Ordinary governor you are. We can. There is a place called Chokocho, whatever they call it, by the bridge along Chokocho Road. Do you know that Fulanis were killing our people there? Do you know Atasa? They call it Obehen Slaughter by Indokiro. Do you know they were killing us there? Do you know at Timber, what aside? Do you know what your Fulani friends did there? Do you know at Yam Zone, how many people were killed by Fulani? And we can, when our people set up what they call model refineries in our own land, in the creeks of Biafra land, in his own land, in Ogoni land. When our people set up their own illegal, they call it a refining site, but the gold from Zamfara is not illegal. The people you are serving and doing their bidding, they are refining gold, nothing is happening. But they come and they kill your people because they are refining oil. And you say nothing, we can. I now want to tell you the Nigerian army terrorist full and a bunkering sites in Igwacha, in Igwacha, in your state, and you've done nothing about it. But when your own brothers and sisters set up their own refinery, they kill them. 
And I, little did we know that all those things, all, all, all those things you were doing on TV was show. Meanwhile, you are working with them. The same thing with the AG, the pig, the pipeline security guard. Hey, they, hey, Biafra, 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 Biafra. But meanwhile, he's working for the enemy. You think you don't know? We can, I am giving you facts and figures. So by the time you will be judged, you will be judged based on these facts and figures. We can, full on it terrorists, your friends now, your new friends, <laughs> one Nigeria friends. <laughs> when you went to see the Sultan and you tied, you tied that um, 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 besheet on your head, I should have known, you people. Once they tied that besheet on your head, you are finished. We tell there is a place called Marine Base Jetty. Are uh, the Fulani people your friends now not using it for bunkering? How about Abonema Wharf and the place called Kenny Island in our land? Fulani have taken it over. That was why that man said, and I'm going to play it for you, that they have people in Niger Delta that Niger Delta is Fulani land. I didn't know that. I thought it was only the pig who was uh, involved. I didn't know that even you yourself, Wicked, that you are involved. And this morning, I'm going to play what the man said. Because when we started doing our research yesterday after your stupid broadcast, we now realized that the Fulani are actually doing very well in River State. And more than any other place. And they are the ones doing oil bunkering and selling our oil illegally. But we don't have any access to their gold in Zamfara. Are you listening to me? Let me tell you what the man said. And for you to understand what, for only the, pro these are the new Afonjas you have in Biafra land, for only a promise of vice presidency to governor, to the governor of, of Secretary of State, Stambuwal, this idiot wants to sell our land to Fulani. And he thinks that IPOB under my watch, under my command will allow such nonsense. Instead, we all die. It's not going to happen. We care. You are an idiot. All of you have ganged up the British, the Fulani, uh, uh, those who are upset that Tinubu will no longer be the president in 2023. All of you idiots. You have now ganged up. I bet we're going to defeat you. All of you. Do you know what will defeat you? Because we are in our land. Fighting for our land. You can never win. No matter how many sabots they recruit, you can never win. We can... This man was also referring to you because in Abonema, waterside, the Fulani have taken over. You send the army to go and kill your people, and then they bring in Janjaweed, the Fulani terrorists, to be doing bunkering in our land in broad daylight. Kuro, kuro. And you have not banned them, you have not proscribed them. It's IPOB. I have a we will put pepper. You know that Cameroon pepper, they say it's very hot. And any day we see you abroad, we everybody move Cameroon pepper to all across Europe and America. We catch you, we'll put Cameroon pepper in your eye. Cameroon, I don't know what's going on. We will put pepper in your eye. Kill it up, oh, idiot, you're a fool. We will put pepper in your eyes. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Kill it up, oh, idiot like you. Now listen to what this man has to say. Then you understand their game plan. Why uh, uh, um, Dave Umahi wants to give our land in it. Ask Dave Umahi. We can ask Dave Umahi. He did the same nonsense you're doing. Giving our land to Fulani. Supporting them with the Nigerian army. They were raping our mothers. Killing them in Eboyin. And I said to Miet Yala. You will never take Eboyin state. Not while I'm alive. The other day, they packed their cattle and they were leaving. That is who we are. That war was fought for nearly three years. Do you ask, ask Umahi? Umahi even created a group called um, Neighborhood Watch with the army. We heard about them yesterday. And you will also hear the story of the leader of that Neighborhood Watch. You hear, you hear about him. This war we are going to fight on all fronts. Do you know why? We are IPOB. 
and we are all over the world. Now that everybody has woken up in the zoo called Nigeria, it is called a heightened state of consciousness. People are now awake. All these, your little, little games you're playing. The, uh, 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 you broke off you. Oh, what is happening? The stability, peace and unity. You think people are buying all that rubbish? Is that what you think? Go and look at the comments on your page on Facebook. Are you not an evil man? Your name is Nyesum. We care you are an evil man. You are on evil soil. And you're serving Fulani. Serving Fulani. You are an idiot. With your little, you think you're, you're a totem god. You're with your little Hitler mustache. Inezuzu. Did IPOB not fight and vote for you? Go and listen to my broadcast when they wanted to cancel your elections. We can. Have you given me any penny in your life? Week, I'm asking you. People, we are calling me, asking me to do a broadcast to support so that IPOB will come out and defend your votes. Some of us died in the process. That is why I will never support any politician again. I will never, I will never offer any moral support to any of you. Do you see the payback? Week, I'm asking you, who gave you more support? Vocal support than myself during your tribulations i don't know all those things you are stage managed you packaged it i did go and check my broadcast somebody should find it please and send it to week my broadcast on the eve and on the day of the elections in river state in Iguacha, that they call river state go and check it and hear me speaking in your defense Idiot like you. Idiot like you. Men died defending your ballot. Idiot. IPOB. And you have the temerity to make this useless pronouncement. You are an idiot. A complete and utter fool. And channels quickly packaged and, and broadcast it. I saw the, the name of the person that put the news together. These are the enemies of Biafra. Go and check it. You run to channels to go and uh, prescribe IPOB. You can prescribe IPOB in Iguacha, but I am prescribing you all over the world. Any day, you are the only person, any day we catch you in Europe or in America, we will put Cameroon pepper in your eye. Cameroon pepper. You, you will not be disgraced and beaten up all the bubbles and all the ocean, puppet, will enter your eyes. In your next world, if you hear IPUB, you'll be running. We are going to deal with all of you idiotic criminals masquerading as leaders. Okay, the, uh, okay, the person went to Ungwa people. I don't know. It's not Ungwa people, one idiot, maybe in America or in, uh, in Abuja to write a letter. We are Ungwa people. I follow who hold your son. This is, we will catch them. Anybody who issues any statement and puts their name there, we are going to get you. In defense of these criminals, we will catch you. Do you know why? Because our hands are very clean. I fought for Wike to become the governor of Iguacha. I fought for you. Not once, not twice. Go and ask um, uh, uh, our lawyer in the UK. He kept calling me telling me he was in touch with your men, that he had spoken to you to thank me for what I am doing. Week, am I lying? Week, am I lying? In your time of trouble, I defended you. The same people you are banning and proscribing and trying to kill in Obi, Week, some of them died defending your mandate. So you don't know that? And the only payback we now have is for you to come live in an enemy platform to prescribe IPOB. And Wike, is there no banditry going on in the north? Is banditry not a problem in Nigeria? Which Fulani governor, those you are serving, which Fulani governor has come out to say we are prescribing Fulani bandits? 
None of them. All of you, all you want to do is to place us in harm's way. Every blessed day, you want to place us. Because we said to you that what we are fighting for is not personal. I know that some of you, because you have mandate, you have all this budget, you have all these things to look forward to, some of you think that what we are looking for cannot happen in your time because of the money you're getting. And we said to you that in Biafra, you can even make more money than you're making in the zoo if you work very hard, not by stealing the people's money. But you people will not listen. You will not listen. Do you know that most of the infrastructures in Iguacha was built by Dr. Michael But Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? That most of the infrastructures in Iguacha was built by Dr. Michael Opera. And after that, what is the name of that um, police commissioner from Igodomigodo that Babangida made the governor of River State? What's his name again? I forget. He, he, uh, I think he, was, he uses bleaching cream as well. What's his name? He was the chairman of the task force on drugs or whatever. What's his name? It's not a Yakilome. What's his name again? The police commissioner. He did something in Igwatch. I know him. He built a few things. I think the secretariat. What have you done in Igwatch apart from sponsor a few thugs? What have you done? You and your thugs are going down. You are going down. You think we are joking. Let me play what we case and people said about our land that they call Niger Delta. I want to play it so you can understand. Mwike, I fought for you, idiot. I fought for you. Go and check my broadcast of the eve of the elections in the zoo. The same people from Obibo came out and they were killed. They were killed. They were killed. For you, your payback is to come and be talking rubbish I have banned you. Come out now. Let, let us find you abroad. You will know that men are mad. Abroad as well. Let us play what your master said in the north. Cultivate that culture in our people. They want to take over. At the same time, bring in the Fulanis in one fold and try to arrest their traditional uh, practice. The Fulanese are busy trying to bring all Fulanese together into Nigeria with six terrorist groups. But all you people want to do is to scatter your own people. That is all you want to do. I don't know what Fulani gave to you people. I have no idea. Listen to a Fulani man and when he gets to where he talks about Niger Delta, then you will understand that these so-called politicians that have sold our land to these vagabonds. Moving from one place to the other. Listen. And that is very, a very big and uphill task. But I think we can communicate with them more. Because to them, they don't have borders from Cameroon to Nigeria. Are you listening? How do we ensure that those who will be participating in this federal government largely funded program will be Nigerians? Uh, in terms of the funding? No, in terms, in of, terms the of the uh, operations. Operations. You said it's bringing Fulanese together. We're Fulanese from other countries. The issue of misconception. I said there is a lot of mistrust and misconception with regards to the Fulani man. The Fulani man is a global or an African person. Listen. He moves from the Gambia, from, from Senegal, and his nationality is just a Fulani man. And uh, He moves from the Gambia and Senegal, and they settle, we can settle them in our land. And help them to be raping our mothers. We can, you, your friends are raping our mothers. And you want IPOB to keep quiet. You are, you are an animal. Now listen. As a person, I may have my relations in the Cameroon. Uh -huh. But they are also full -time men. I have relations in, because from yes. the Western side, I'm a full -time man. And that is why we want to educate people. A full -time man sees himself as a biasan. Are you listening? They are in Bayelsa. Are you listening in Anaya? Why did he not say Imo State, Arabia? They said Bayelsa. They, they control the gold from the north 
and they control the oil and gas in our land using idiots like we care and that bloated, bloated pig. Are you listening? Are you listening? And I'm asking Wike, Wike, is banditry bad? I'm sure he will say yes. He's, he claims he's a lawyer. He will say yes, it's bad. Wike, do you know that Fulani bandits are killing people in the Middle Belt? Even in Katsina? Yes. Is that, uh, uh, is such an act bad? Yes. Why hasn't any Fulani governor from the North prescribed or banned Fulani bandits. And you are protecting them in our land, you and the army of the zoo. Uh, I was told you were in a court in university days, you're doing hard man <laughs> with a pen knife. <laughs> now you have met IPOB. IPOB is a monster. I know you come and Andrew. A monster. And you're finished. All of you idiots giving our land to the Janjaweed. All of you giving our land to the Janjaweed. As uh, somebody comes from the Niger Delta, mm -hmm. because he speaks the Niger Delta language. Are so you listening? Are you listening? They are calling it Niger Delta. Yes, you are here. Are you listening? They are bringing their people into our land from Gambia, from Senegal, from Niger, from Chad, settling them in Obibo, raping our mothers. And you want IPOB to keep quiet. I don't know the planet these guys came from. Are you listening? They give you money you take. They promise you vice president. The same promise they gave to everybody. Everybody they promise something to. I will, I will, oh, don't worry. You're, you're the smartest. You're the most intelligent. You'll be the president or prime minister. Oh, no, you're very bright. You can speak English. You, you, your people love you. You'll be the prime minister. None of them got it, oh. <laughs> Despite being the people that fought the in, oh, for independence, oh, Azikiwe and Awolo, oh, they fought for independence. That is the truth. Went to jail. They went to prison. Tafo Balewa never went to prison. Sadwana of Sokoto Ahmadu Bello never went to prison. Listen to the irony of Nigeria. Oh. <laughs> Nigeria is a joke. They never went to prison. Oh. Britain never put them into prison. They divided our war and Zeke. They said, oh, don't worry, Zeke. Hey, chai, you. Ah, come and take Amen. Zeke, Buddha, Amen, Are you not aware? He has a son named Muhammad. Oh, Buru, Amen, Alaba. They convinced the idiot. Oh, don't worry. You are more intelligent than our war. They went to our war. Hi, our Hi. Our You are intelligent. You are more intelligent than Zeke. Is you don't worry, is you two of them? We are there, they're playing oh, wait, doing the waiting game. They divided them once they divided them. People who did not fight the British, people who did not fight for Nigeria, people who did not go to prison for Nigeria became the rulers of Nigeria. <laughs> uh, they think we are, they, they don't know we know history, oh. they have no idea. We can. I'm asking you, Week, are you listening? How many Fulani governors have banned Fulani bandits and Mietiala? How many of them? Are they not part and parcel of Mietiala? Only you people, always showing off, always wanting to serve a foreigner. That is in your blood. That is what you, well, exactly what you did when the white man came during slavery. You were falling over yourselves. Who will be the slave agent? Who will be the slave agent? Who will go to Arochupu and bring slaves? Who will go to the hinterland and bring slaves? It's in your blood. After slavery ended, the white man came and was looking for warrant chiefs. All of you were falling over yourselves trying to serve the white man. That was why our land was taken by them. When our land fell, when Arochuku fell in 1904, they went to Anioma. Listen to your history, which some of you don't know. Anioma is not evil. We are the Delta Delta. We are Niger Delta. We are, we are Delta Niger. Idiots. The seven sons of the priests of the temple at Arochubu went to Anioma 
and started an underground guerrilla movement called Ekumeku. Go and do your history. And we fought the British every inch of the way. Ekumeku. Go and Google it. Since our fathers went into the bushes to fight evil, this generation will go into the bushes to fight the agents of evil. Are you listening to me? Now, we can, you are giving our land to Fulani. And all of you are doing 2023. You and um, check the two of them. Oh. Him and uh, and uh, and Dave Umahi. 2023 on their mind. Give and uh, Mietiela will say to them, give us your land, they will give. When they when we rape your mother and kill them, we don't talk, oh, they will say, Okay, sir. Uh, rank a dede, rank a dede, yes, sir. And you think happy people are that rubbish in Igwacha? Let us hear what they have to say about our land. They first of all they name it. You know that's what the British does when they want to make you useless. Or even the white man, they say, oh, during baptism, you must speak a name. Your name is Ugo, Ugo Chinyere. Hey! Ahamarama, pretty name, Ugo Chinyere. But during baptism at Roman Catholic Church and even Anglican and the Christianity, they say, you must change your name to Is Isabella. And they gladly do. And I say to them, when I go to Spain, where the name Isabella comes from, are they answering Ugo Chinyere? Do you know the meaning of Ugo Chinyere? A beauty given by God himself. Ugo Chinyere, not just ego. Ugo means beauty. Ugo Chinyere. And I ask them, what is the meaning of Isabella? They do not know. But the priest wearing white is telling you, you must change your name from, what is now your name? If you ask somebody, they say, my name is Isabella, but my Igbo name is Ugo Chinyere. And I look at them and I weep. And I say, in this UG, in the black people, these are the idiots now who are in power. And they think that being close to a white man makes them very powerful. They think being close to a Fulani man makes them very, very important. That is what Omahi is doing and we can... And we are going to deal with them. We are going to deal with them. They will no longer come out in public. At least not abroad, they cannot travel. We can come out in public in, in, in Iguacha. The time hasn't come. Again, if we also, he's going to run. The same way that Jagabandit ran is how he's going to run away. <laughs> Listen to what is happening in your land. Listen. And his nationality is just a Fulani man. Nationality Fulani? Uh, as a person, I may have my relations in the Cameroon. Uh -huh. But they are also Fulani men. I have relations because from the maternal side, I'm a Fulani man. And that is why we want to educate people. A Fulani man sees himself as a Bayelsan. <laughs> somebody comes from the Niger Delta. Yes. Because he speaks the Niger Delta language, which you and I don't. The Niger Delta, is that any language called Niger Delta language? We K, you are an Igbo man, I'm an Igbo man. Why K is your name? Now they have put you in the Niger Delta. They cut you off and they put you in the Niger Delta. Were you in Niger Delta before? You are an Igbo man. I am an Igbo man. But you are prepared to allow the same people that are bringing their folks from Gambia from from um, senegal to come and kill us your own fellow brothers and sisters i told people it shows that you do not have conscience that is what it means you have no conscience we can this man is a full -on man he's a governor like yourself he is the governor of bauchi state that is the man speaking a fellow governor as you is working to bring all his people across Africa together into Nigeria and settle them in the Niger Delta. You, that is an Igbo governor with Igbo people all over the world, you are not doing the same. Instead, you are accommodating this Fulani man who is quite blatantly a terrorist and scattering your own people. And you claim you are a lawyer. And you went to school and you're intelligent. Do you see how daft people are? 
you remind me of President Good Luck Ebele Jonathan. When Ihejirika was there and he forced Ihejirika to resign because the Fulani people said so. You people are in the same group. In the same group. You don't reason. You have no brain. I fought for you. IPOB fought for you. We died for you. Fulanese are coming, raping our mothers, abducting our daughters. And you went on a television, a stupid, compromised Fulani television to run down your people. To run down your people. The same governors are taking pictures with Fulani bandits. But you couldn't call this person that you're placing bounty on his head. You couldn't call him and do what your masters from the north do and say to him, my dear brother or my dear son, what is the problem? This is what I'm hearing. The same thing that Yoruba governors will do. What is this thing that we are hearing? What is going on? Can you please try and calm down? But you are more interested in serving your Fulani masters. Yoruba governors, they formed Amoteku. Did you form anything to defend our land against Fulani headsmen? No. All you stupid Igbo governors, did you do anything? All you idiotic Biafran governors, did you do anything? All you are concerned about is to serve the Fulani man. Yoruba governors, they formed Amoteku to defend their land against what the Fulanese are doing. The daughter of Parfashwaranti was killed and they responded and quite rightly so. What have you done about the deaths of your own people? What have you done is to try to condemn your people for the sake of those who are killing them. And you call yourself a man. You say you're a lawyer. You say you're a defender of the people. And you are an Igbo man. Shame on you. Shame on you. Do you see after all these years that um, Chibike is now coming to his senses? Chibike Amich, he is now coming to his senses. He is now saying that South South and South East should be one. He is now coming back to his senses. One day you will come back to your senses. There was a governor who is from Izon, a governor of Iguacha River State from Izon, Melford Okiro. You know Melford, Ukido? You know him very well? I sat with him, I drank with him, and I ate with him. He was talking the way you're talking now, serving the Fulani. But I met him in London in 1997, and he said to me, to my face, in his house in, in, um, in East London. Do you know what he said to me? He said to me that the whole of Nigeria thing is a joke. There was something he narrated to me that I'll never forget. Do you know what Mayor Okiro said to me, the former governor of River State? You know what he said to me? He said to me, if there are, it's better for 10 people to share 100 naira than for 100 people to share 100 naira. What he was saying is that it would have been better for Biafra to stand and all of our people enjoying our oil and gas than for the whole of the zoo to do so, he confessed to me. When we were about to leave his house, he gave us money. Are you aware of that? Chuku Dumikazo was there, go and ask him. Ifan Yunebu was with me, go and ask him. Ask him if they have met Melford Okido before, and they will tell you yes. The former governor of River State. I met him. I sat with him. I drank with him. I ate in his house in East London. Now you understand. There was another man I have mentioned before. His name is Dr. Ali Uekina. He's from Akwaibam. Let us use states now. He's a BBO man. Gowon convinced him to reject Biafra. The daughter is Sokari Ekine. Go and ask. Google Sokari and ask Sokari. She came to the studios of Radio Biafra in 2009. And I broadcast with her. Go and ask Sokari Ekine. Google her name. Find her. She's a British citizen. Ask her. It was the father, Ali Ekine, who introduced me to her daughter, Sokari Ekine. Go and Google her. She's there. And the man wrote a book. 
and I met him and I had tea with him at Waterloo, no, Victoria Station in London. And he came with our dear brother, Chukudumi Ikazo, and we met at Costa Coffee in Victoria Station in London. An old man, a learned man, he confessed to me and he wept. Victoria Station, I'll never forget. He's from Akwaibo. He wrote a book. His name is Dr. Aliyu Ekine. Go and check it. He said to me that the, that the worst mistake of his life was walking against Biafra. And he held my hand and he said to me, my son, please, please, please do whatever you can to make sure that Biafra comes. And tears were welling up in his eyes. Go and ask the daughter, Shokari Ikine. She's an activist. She is a frontline activist. Go and ask. Google her name and contact her. If I, because I don't lie. And the funniest thing is that all, in all these encounters, I always have somebody as a witness. As a witness. I always have somebody as a witness. That is something you must know. That is something you must know. You don't know how far back we've been working. You don't know. You don't know how far back we have been working. You have no idea. You have no clue. Dr. Ali Okin, go on convinced him to work against Biafra. And go on sent him as an emissary to go to the British in 1967 to convince the British to say that uh, we are different from the Igbo. Dr. Ali Uekine, he was an envoy, an emissary of Nigeria to London to say that we don't want anything to do with Ojubu. And his own brother, General Philip F. Young, was the vice president or the deputy head of state of the whole of Biafra. You people think you can deceive us. You can divide us. IPOB have jailed our people as a glue. You cannot divide us. No matter how many you are. All of you are not up to ten. With your irats. You cannot divide us. We are one people. Dr. Ali Yekine was crying and saying to me. Do all you can. To get Biafra. Afterwards he said. Sokari is an activist. My daughter, go and talk to her. And I invited Sukari Ekine to Radio Biafra in London in 2009. And I did a broadcast with her. I wish I can find it. From Akwaibom. <laughs> we care. You are a newcomer. We are veterans in this battle. I, I, I narrated a story yesterday about when I went to Bunabale. To go and meet the chiefs. The same day that I met Dan, is it Don Mite or Dan Mite of Mosop in his office in Iguacha? I always have witnesses. Now you understand, don't you? They are bringing Fulani people into our land and you're encouraging them to be raping and killing our mothers. The headlines are here chronicling and detailing. The atrocities of Fulani people in River State, and you did nothing. And you did nothing. You and your thugs, you're going down. I'm telling you the truth, you're going down. We are the same people. You know, the same way they tried to instigate trouble between the Igbos and the Yorubas in Lagos by insinuating that we are destroying Yoruba assets, lying in broad daylight. And luckily for us, somebody should please post that picture. The Chinese man that claims he owns the Orient Hotel is now saying this hotel doesn't belong to Tinubu. It belongs to Mr. Wang or whatever. And I'm asking Niyawodo, is that the Yoruba asset? Mr. Wang from China he is now an owner of Yoruba asset. You see the way that God always vindicates us all the time, these liars and deceivers. And that very mission failed. The mission to instigate trouble between the Igbos and the Yorubas, it failed. I heard Yoruba people talking all over the world. 
that we are one in this. The British used the Fulani to divide Awo and Zik. Now they are using Wike. They are using Nyamoto. They are using all these idiots, the, the, the bloated pig, to try to divide us. And uh, Afani Fere came out and shot Ohaneze down and said, shut up. You, they may have divided us in the past. They cannot divide us now. Genuine elders. Elders. Genuine elders. That is how they speak. That is how they talk. Genuine elders. You can no longer divide us. And some idiot is busy giving land to Fulani to settle Fulani people from Gambia, from Senegal, from Niger, from everywhere in our land. And you want us to keep quiet? If they are Nigerians, if they are Fulani Nigerians, and I can even endure it. But these are people from Gambia without passport. They can't speak English. And you're giving them oil bunkering business in our land. If we do the same business, they kill us. Hey! You don't know how horrible these governors are. The, uh, uh, why ask yourself this question? Wike, after fighting for you all these years, fighting for you to be there, because we fought against APC in 2015, go and check my broadcast. I said that what APC wants to use is to use this, what is in the spiritual realm or in the cosmic, what they call triangulation, triangle. Do you, know the, <clears throat> do you know the seal of wisdom are two stars, two triangles, one in that reversed on the other? Are you aware of that? The star of David, the seal of wisdom, or the seal of Solomon? Found in Aguleri. Are you aware of that? It's a star. So the British advised the Fulani to diminish us. And they wanted to use a system of triangulation. All they need to take over the land of Biafra is to have three APC governors. So when they got Abogawosa in Imo, they wanted River State and they wanted Akwaibom. When Akwaibom failed, they tried Bayelsa and they also failed. Do you know why they failed? Not that they couldn't have sustained it. But God intervened in the case of Bayelsa and said, APC, you cannot be in my land. It's an Islamic agenda, a Janja weed agenda. Because if they get up to three APC governors in Biafra land, they would have succeeded in triangulating Biafra. It's called triangulation. Once you triangulate the people, they are dead and they are finished. I want them to understand that we are vast in the things of the spirit. We understand it. And I said it on air in 2015 when I was campaigning for Wike in 2015. Wike, I campaigned for you in 2015. I campaigned for you in 2019. Go and check Radio Biafra broadcast. You will see it there. I campaigned for you very vociferously. IPOB died for you in 2019. But you are giving our land to those who are killing and raping our people. Is that a good thing to do? In what way did we offend you? You said we burnt down a police station. Why shouldn't we burn it down? The same police were killing our people. What do you expect us to do? We have said anywhere there is a fatality, anywhere they kill our people, we must also kill them and burn the police station down. Are you not aware of that? Can't a police station be rebuilt? What is worse, a burnt down police station or giving our land to full and terrorists to be doing oil bunkering illegally? And you're just there watching. And you think IPOB is going to allow that? They want to take River State from us? so they can understand. 
They think they can take Iguacha from us. All of you are drunk. You want war? You will get a war. Mad people everywhere. We are now going to open our lines very briefly. And please, before... My brother, thank you very much. Oh. Do you know the funniest thing? This is my voice that is like this. And this stupid, stupid, idiotic... Of course, I've not rested very well. Idiotic cough. Do you know that when I take hot water, it becomes worse? And this, I was contemplating now, thinking, what is wrong? What is wrong? And as soon as I started taking cold water, it became better. I didn't know that before. Thank you very, very much. I don't even have your name. I don't even have your name. My goodness. What is your name? Is not here. But thank you very much. The number ends in 1-6. Thank you very, very much, my dear brother. Have you noticed that no matter how small you are, when you call Radio Biafra, I call you a brother? You know, we have that useless mentality. Everybody is here. Oh, my, uh, our Stephen one idiot, you know, you know, Hanez. That uh, uh, Chichi, when, um, our last born is older than him. He says, uh, our, our children. <laughs> one was saying to, one was saying to, uh, uh, the pastor who was preaching saying, Oh, they are your son, they are your children. President, talk to them. They are your children. They are your I said, What? They are fellow citizens, not their children. After growing up, he waits for the other ones to grow up and join you as well. That is what it is. We care you're a dead man walking. People should go and get Cameroon pepper. Put it in your freezer so it won't go off. All of you in the diaspora, Cameroon pepper. Our volunteers in the diaspora, get Cameroon pepper, put it in the freezer. Once we hear that it's coming out, we bring it out to Thor. If we catch winter, we'll put pepper in his eyes. That his stupid mustache will fall off. Whatever mustache like this, that is Hitler mustache. That is cult mustache to fall off. We destroyed a country. Zoo. Talk less of you idiot. We destroyed the zoo. Did I not tell the fool and you cannot bring that, that thing outside anymore? Did I not tell them? Are they bringing him out? We run the zoo. We run Asarok. Everything they do is based on what we do. On what IPOB does. Don't you know that? Everything they do is based on what IPOB does. Today, they have no president. The idiot that is wearing a mask cannot come out. People that did such a thing, you are just in, in Iguacha, surrounded by a few Janjaweed, your full and friends, who are talking rubbish. We will get hold of you. And about four, all of, listen, let me tell you, all of you can gang up all you like. All of you can call a meeting and gang up. All of you are dead people. All of you. I got who knows all of you. You think you're smart. Useless people. Uh, because you've been keeping quiet. You are from Enugu. My dear brother. Thank you very much. Okolie. Thank you very, very much for your advice. He's a young boy. Maybe about the age of my son. But I call him a brother. I can't call him my son. Why should I? Because if you call him your brother, he begins, he feels, he assumes the responsibilities of a man. He thinks like a man. If you say, oh, my child, my child, my... Oh, no, sister, sister. So you don't know that? Why is it that a 60-year-old white man or, or white woman, when they are referring to you, even if you're 16 years old, they will say, sir, Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. That is why their children are reasonable. You see somebody, oh, my son, my boy, my boy. I say, thank you very much, my brother. No matter how young you are, once you are articulate enough, that person is your brother or your sister or your comrade, if you don't have anything else to say or how to refer to them in private you can say my daughter my son but in public they are your sisters and your brothers 
because that gives them a sense of responsibility. Go and check any white person. They could be 80 years old. They are addressing a 20-year-old man. They say, excuse me, sir. I need a Mad people everywhere who don't have any brain. I, I said to my father, I was a UNM. I was not involved in courtism or Makadi Amama. I was, I didn't know them, they didn't know me. I was not involved in courtism. And I said to my father, I am that, you know, they were carrying propaganda that I was in a cult at UNN. That was why I left. And I was rusticated from the school. I was expelled from the school. I wasn't in any cult. Go and ask them. My friends were, but I wasn't. I said to my father that this rubbish I'm seeing here, I can't put up with it. I said, if you cannot send me to England, I didn't ask for any other place. If you cannot send me to England to go and study, I am staying at home. Ask my mother. Oh, my dear soul, rest in peace. Now listen very carefully to me. I was to travel to Florida, so well aviation institute to go and become a pilot my mother said no uh, so does it mean every time you'll be on the i said yes she said no you're not going anywhere and my cousin there was here jude njoko for those of you in england you know him very well he intervened and said to my father okay once he tears his papers he can come to england of course, I did very well. I am intelligent. I did exceptionally well. And we, I was at SBS. I was one of the best students at School of Basic Studies in Omoala. For your information. I was there. I went to UNN. And I said to my father, you must send me into England. And he said, no, that is to tell you how stubborn I am. I packed my, my cousin came. Yeah, he's in the U.S. now. I, my cousin came to visit me. And I said, what? He said, I am here to see you. I said, help me pack my things. He packed and I went back home. And I said to my father, if you are not sending me to England to go and study, I am not going to UNN anymore. University of Nigeria and Soka, number one. I said, no, I will not go there. Send me to England to go and study. And I want to live in London. After complaining and grumbling for a while, sending his friends our family friends to come and talk to me and i said no they said to my father you might as well send him and that was how i traveled to england for you that's how stubborn we are for your information i left unn the premier university in nigeria and of course um apart from me and the of life and they and others of them they're all good schools very wonderful schools and unical and all the rest of them great schools I traveled to England to go and study. For your information. And in England, you will see an 80, 85, 95 year old woman. They're still walking with their two feet. She will say to you, excuse me, sir. To give you that sense. You know, when somebody calls you, sir, you say, oh, maybe I've grown up. Oh. And that boy immediately begins to reason properly. I'm telling you the truth. The reason why you have cultism is because oh, my, my boy, our boy, the, the, those my children, they'll keep thinking and listening like children. Walk up to a cultist and say, uh, uh, please, my dear brother, and as an, old, as an older man, or say, excuse me, sir, and you see the way they'll be shocked. They'll begin to reason properly. Something you don't know. We care you are in trouble. We care everybody wants to be president. Everybody wants to be president. Oh, every idiot wants to be president. And because of that, you are giving away our land for Fulani to come into it and settle. Shame on all of you. I have met idiots like you before. I, we have met them. We have defeated all of them. Why do you think that young Nigerian youth are running? Can't you hear when they speak? Our eyes are now open. Our eyes are now open. Our eyes are now open. We are no longer blind. Even there was a clip I saw yesterday. That was from Akure. Our eyes are now open. And they are shouting to the Republic. To hell with Nigeria. And after saying that, and you ask them, who opened your eyes? 
and will tell you radio biafra go and ask them if we can be catalyst i, I didn't say instigators because we, we we don't know anything about it oh. it was young people that did their thing heaven knows we know nothing about NSAS, and being honest with you, is it, it, alien to us. We never knew about it. But who are the catalysts for it? Who crystallized the reasoning of young people across Nigeria, across religious and ethnic boundaries? They will tell you Radio Biafra. When I used to tell you people that Radio Biafra, people hide to listen. You didn't believe me. Now it's in the open. If we can sensitize youths in the most populous black country in the world, who is weak? I ask. First of all, here live on air, Aga Dorignandu, we will demystify you and then set you up on a platter. We will carve you the way they carve beef roast beef we are going to carve you into pieces and we care for mentioning the word prescription and the terrorist not those killing your people they are not terrorists so the full only killing our people in river state they are not terrorists but we defending our land against terrorists we are the terrorists which means you're part of them and we care i will never forgive you till the day i die i'll never forgive you you are an evil man and we are going to teach you one almighty lesson. And any of your thugs that come out will break his legs and his hands. They will be calling you from hospital, telling you what they are going through. Go and ask the zoo army and police in Enugu what happened to them. You see your thugs? If they come out to speak, they will be in hospital and they'll be calling you. Then you will know how serious we are. We are going to open our lines very, very briefly to take some calls. And please make it brief. I want to know what is happening where you are. We care you're a dead man walking. You are finished. And I will give you the number to call this morning, please. The number to call this morning for everybody is plus four nine one six two seven eight one 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 nine zero. I repeat plus four nine one six two seven eight one 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 nine zero. Call this very number on WhatsApp, please, and I will take your calls and tell me what is happening where you are. I did not ask anybody to call the other line. I have given a line to call, and I want you to call that very line. This is the only line for you to call this morning, please. If you call, we will be able to take your call. And allow me to repeat the number for those of you that did not get it. Plus 49162781119011190. Oh, I didn't actually switch on the... Um, the, the Wi-Fi to pick it up. So I am doing that now. I am doing that now. And very shortly, you should be able to call. You should be able to call. And when you call, please make it very, very brief that others may be able to participate as well. That very line is now open. That very line is now open, and I'm telling you the amount of messages flooding in, it is unbelievable. I, I, I have given you a number to call, and that number is what I would like you to call. I have given it to you, maybe when it finishes refreshing, it will start. the calls are too many. That is why the lines keep crashing, that is why it keeps crashing, and I am asking, I asked Japan, when, the last time I was in Japan, they bought me a phone and, of course, a very beautiful tablet. They bought me a phone and a tablet. And right now, the phone they bought me is, what's it called again? It is called Note 10. And I want Japan to get me a Note 20 and send it to Germany as quickly as possible. National coordinator of Japan, I need a Note 20. Send it to Japan 
because our calls are too many and what we are doing is very, very critical. And also those of you in Japan, we want to extend our relay stations across the length and breadth of the damnable zoological republic. Your help is needed in that regard. Mazuo Former asked me to speak to all of you. And that is what I'm doing now. The whole of Japan, it is your responsibility and you must do it. Your responsibility and you must do it. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? The world is listening. We are Radio Biafra. Tell us where you are, please. Hello, Mazi. Good morning. My name is Egun Chibera. I'm speaking from Biafra land, Aba province. Aba, what is happening there? Mazi, everywhere is normal. No, Mazi, Mazi, everywhere is normal. Mazi, things can continue like this. Mazi, people need to come out and protest. We're people are coming out and they are protesting. It is early in the morning. They are going, yes. they are going to come out to protest. It's early in the morning. Aba is doing very well. There was no road yesterday in our bar. People packed all over the place. And the zoo, we are busy kidnapping people. And I want to warn once again, all this audacious nonsense, you must stop it. Though, should I say, a majority of those who are being shot dead are those that said they did audacious. They come out and they are waving their hand that bullets cannot go through them. They do not know that the zoo army themselves, they have their own native doctor. They sacrifice cows at every roundabout every night. So you don't know that? So you don't know that? That's what they're doing. So people go and they say, oh, I did Odeshi. Oh, we, are, we are with Odeshi. And you go out and you foolishly, uh, you know, offer yourself as a sac sacrificial lamb. And they kill you. You say you did Odeshi. The best Odeshi is your brain. Is The best Odeshi yes, is your brain. Exactly. It is your brain. That is the biggest army, you know, you people don't listen. The, the, the finest armies in the world, Israel. The finest army in the world is Israeli army, IDF, followed by the U.S. army, followed by the Russian army, and followed by the Chinese army. All these armies, let me ask you, are they doing Odeshi? I don't... This Yoji, I don't know why you don't copy anything good. It's always the stupid things you copy. Let me, oh, give us money for fortification. You are an idiot. The best fortification is your brain. When they, when they are coming, I said, hide in the bush. I have not seen the extensive views of Molotov cocktail. I've not seen it. You're not setting their vehicles on fire from afar. You have eight bottles of Molotov cocktail. And you're lighting them and you're throwing it at them. They are more concerned about the, the, the catching fire. You disorientate them. You grab them. And you kill them. That is how it is done. It is a revolution. You're saying, give us money for fortification. And I'm asking you, that our brother that called from Texas, from U.S. Navy last night, is he doing audition? You people must be modern. You, what is the information you want to give? Say it. And the soldiers are coming into the street, and what is going to happen? And I said, how can they come? China came and done and here. Ask during the day. You are on the street, and that night you go into the bush. I was told somebody was arrested when they were sleeping. A revolutionary? And do I sleep? I just said, let me close my eyes after talking to, to one of us till very late. That was why I missed it. The alarm was ringing. I said, oh my goodness. Even my younger brother had to call me to ask me. Are you not coming on air? Why don't you ever learn? We are in a revolutionary period. They want to arrest and kill as many people as possible. You should be sleeping in the bushes. They are coming with Hillox vans. Some of them are on Mufti. They join you claiming they are protesters. And some of them, some of us are also informants, like uh, uh, the junior version of Wike. And um, and uh, Dave Umahi, informant. You know, informant has the senior one and the junior one. They join us and they tell the enemies who the leaders are. And we, if you stupidly go back home, 
if you foolishly go back home, they come to your house because you, the person uh, you think is your friend have now told them where you live. I said, go into the bushes. You, the whole of Abba town, you can approach Abba from Omoha, you can approach Abba from Ekotek Bene, you can approach Abba from Igwacha. Block the roads. You know the color of small nails is the same thing as tarmac. Kolota, Kolta, we call it. Go and place, we know in the evening, we mount roadblocks. And in the evening, before that very roadblock, you put nails until on the ground. So their hillocks cannot enter into Abba. We force them to come on foot. You need to make them to disembark from their vans to come on foot. They may not wear uniforms. And all of you are there and only four people will come to a street containing over 2,000 people and arrest one person and you allow them to go free. Shame on all of you. And you're calling Radio Biafra talking rubbish. They are here, oh. they are there, oh. they are there, oh. let us do something, oh. they are here, oh. they are here. talking like an idiot. I have given you the solution. We are in a revolutionary period. Try and use it. Try and use those things you have. Go and buy nails. Untuli. Fabricate some where you are. You are fighting for your dear lives. Kill these vandals. Kill these vagabonds. Are you not listening? Stop calling Red Baby after talking rubbish. They will come. They need a land to put full on people from all over Africa. And Abba is one of them. Are you foolish? All those, when we are warning you, all those people, shining shoe, do you see them now? Are they not the ones coming out at night with the army to go and fight our people? Shine your shoe. Muhammad, let me cut your nail. You didn't know they were spies? If it is you people now, you'll be saying, oh, um, uh, please send us transport money. Oh, please give us food. Oh, uh, give us... A but over the years, the Fulani have been sending their spies into our land. They are called sleeper cells. They have been sleeping for very many years, for some of them over 25 years. Now they have woken up. It is called a sleeper cell. Some of you, if we send you now as sleeper cells to Kanu or to Kaduna, after one week you run back. But you see how disciplined the Janjaweed are. They've been shining your shoe for very many years. Now they are about to kill you. They've been, they've been your gate man for the, all your few idiots with the Janja with the gate men. Now they are going to cut your throat. These are their commando units. You can become a commando as well. Go into the bushes and defend your land. Go into the bushes in the evening. Stop their hillocks from coming. Sabotage every effort they are making. That is what makes you a revolutionary. Not sitting down somewhere and asking for a Nara. The caller on the line, can you hear me? They're wasting time. There, there are people that are like, once they are calling, they put their phone on mute. So there will be no background noise. When they now hear my voice, they lower their system and they come to the phone. Very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Huh? Good morning, Mohammed. Good morning, man. Right Your voice is not loud enough. It is not loud enough. It is not. I can hear you. Uh, now your voice is loud enough. Now it is loud enough. Go ahead. I can hear you, Mohammed. Uh, good morning. My name is Brian. No, your phone is not good. Your line is not good. Something is wrong somewhere. Is your line is not good? And when you call us, remove your phone from speakerphone, please. The caller on the line, can you hear? No, there is not even connecting. It has not connected. It is a zoo number. It has not connected. Let us try this other one. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good afternoon to you. Where are you calling from? Thank you very much. Please go ahead. What is happening where you are? Hello? What is happening where you are? I'm, I'm, I'm a little born Biafra man, 
and I will always support your cause, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. It is our cause. It's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. Biafra is not mine. It is our cause. People from all over the world are making massive and immense contribution to make it a success. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Where are you calling from? What is what is Imo State? Where where in Imo State? Where what is Imo State? I don't understand. Are you in Olo? Are you in Okigo? Are you in Mbano? Where are you? Where are you? Everybody, when we are telling, oh my my dear sister, you have to call us back. You have to try and call back. When we said go and join the volunteer, you 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 were there wasting time, and you come on Facebook and you ask me to give you guns on Facebook. You, uh, this is my name. Give us guns on Facebook. Are you not an idiot? Complete idiot. A complete fool. You know, the thing about you people is that some of you who were fathered by Fulani people during, before, during, and after the war, you have no brain. You cannot reason properly. You need to use your guns. So, do you think I'm going to reveal the plans of our volunteer uh, forces on our uh, life on air? I'm telling you what happens during a revolution. That is what you do. You, uh, our sister called us from South Africa yesterday and told you what to do. All of you did not listen. They, you, because of actually gossip, you know you love gossip. Yeah, give us God now. We cannot fight them without guns. Yet everything we have been saying, it doesn't go into your skull. You and your foolish governors. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I don't know why this thing is not speaking. Is it, is, is it a network problem? Or what? Is it a network problem in the zoo or what? The caller on the line, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Good morning to you. And we are, I can't even hear you very well. This one has even crashed as well. I want Japan to send that phone as quickly as possible. This phone has even crashed as well. It's because of the, the number of calls coming in, it's crashing. Please tell us where you are. Good morning to you. Where are you? What is happening where you are? From Alaba. Alaba. What is happening in Alaba? Yeah. yeah, Alaba is good and the people are trying, doing their best that things will go well here and uh, working hard to make that uh, make the police station here have already gone down. Which police station is that? Ojo. Ojo police station is down. I commend those that carried out the action. Ojo police station is down. I commend the Nigerian youth. I commend the Nigerian youth that did a very fantastic job. Every police station must go down. They are the ones killing us. That is the thing about black people and Africa in general. They will not confront who the, the real enemy. They always want to blame the victim. It's just like saying that a girl wearing a very decent dress or wearing a very sexy dress going out invited the rape against her. That's what they always do black people they would prefer to blame the victim and that nonsense must stop that nonsense must stop it must stop with immediate effect it must stop thank you very much for calling thank you very very much our lines have crashed and we are going to come back again this very afternoon we are going to come back this afternoon stop saying give us gone give us this give us this uh, on facebook or live on air when you have not done anything to show that you can you handle a gun if you give your gun can you handle it or you go and sell it and use the money to go and buy wee wee to go and buy ganja we wish some of them did those that we gave guns to what did they do with it they sold it so you don't know go and join the volunteer command go and join oh, our volunteers on the ground if you want to know what is happening not to come on social media and be talking like a, a demented fool we are live and we are direct. Uh, but of course, we have to bring this program to an end. But let me take this call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? This line is not stable this yes, morning. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Give us your name and where you are. Can you hear me? Yes. My name is Sonia Bucci. I'm calling from Milan. From Milan.
Onyebuchi from Milan, please go ahead. Exactly, okay. Um, Mazin Nandekan, actually, I'm just here to commend what you're doing. I'm a student of uh, diplomacy, I'm doing my master's here in Milan. Yes. And actually, one thing I actually say is that your work has been really, you know, um, touch a lot of people, people like me, especially young people, who left Nigeria because of the situation, you know, the suffering of, uh, people, of young people. And yes. I'm very quite glad that our young people are waking up to take their destiny into their hands and to change their future, especially not only the, that of Nigeria, but that of Africa itself and black race around the world with this protest or revolution going on right now in Nigeria. I just want to use this platform to tell our people, to encourage our people to keep on. They should not relent. They should go and look into the history of revolution that changed Europe in the past, that made them what they are, that led them to the place you know, they are now. Revolution is the way to, you know, to open the gate for progress, development. If they don't do it right now, if they don't see this possibility, you know, they will suffer the rest of their life. They, they should not look in, uh, you know, for uh, diplomatical means or whatever. I know a lot of people have been saying you are not diplomatic. Diplomacy, so, diplomacy, but I which useless. Uh, so, so full and headsmen are using diplomacy to rape your mother. So they're using diplomacy to cut off your head. So Fulani headsmen are using diplomacy to abduct your daughters. Or, uh, or, or Fulani, they're using diplomacy to, 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 when they were massacring people at Lake Itogate, it was diplomacy, diplomatic shooting. It was diplomatic shooting at Lake Itogate. Diara, please continue, my dear brother. Please go ahead. So actually, I just wanted to tell them that International diplomacy doesn't work that way because all the other countries, I mean, the international community, they are not interested, you know, uh, because they are interested based on economic situations. So that's why they kept quiet. They don't want to really take actions on what is going on right now in, in Nigeria. So, so our people should not think that diplomacy will save them because diplomacy comes after a revolution. You know, when the world finds out that, okay, their interest has diminished, now they'll begin to you know, they are low because in order to retain their interest. So the first move is really what they are doing right now, and they should sustain it. It's not too late. They should not relent at all. If they do relent, they will continue to suffer for another 400, 500 years to come. This is the time to change, you know, the, the future of our people, of young people. Please, I beg of our people, do not relent. This is a chance for us to change. Actually, right now, I've been trying to, you know, um, carry this, what is going on right now in Nigeria, also here with the professors who are, you know, members of the European Union to start discussing about what is going on in Nigeria. Nobody is discussing about what is happening. I see if Africans... Because the violence has not gone up. You are, you are a student of, a master student of international diplomacy. Until their interests are threatened, they do not talk. Remember when the brave Avengers, may God bless them, when the brave Avengers busted pipelines, the same day CNN carried it or everybody, BBC, they carried it because their interest has been threatened. You claim, some of you claim you went to school, but you know nothing about international diplomacy. Who's going to talk to you if your song are singing like a chorister in a choir? Who's going to talk to you? It is when their interest is threatened that they will now come back and try to talk to you. That diplomacy starts. But when the zoo army is shooting you, maybe it is called diplomatic shooting or diplomatic raping of your mother or diplomatic abduction of, um, of um, all those girls that they took from the Middle Belt. Or maybe it is a diplomatic destruction of crops in the farm. Or Fulani is employing uh, 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 diplomatic um, um, embalming. Or Mietiala is being diplo is Mietiala diplomatic? Mietiala, Fulani headsmen. We are there diplomatic, but they got 100 billion naira from the presidency. But you that is diplomatic, you are there begging for COVID 19 rice. The same COVID 19 rice is in a warehouse. You are being diplomatic. Oh, you are going to scatter things. So, oh, this and do you think they will not bring out their people? Do you think that the children of all these criminals that they don't have um, um, social media handles or they don't have smartphones, 
they will go under a, a fake name to try to defend daddy. You don't know that? Hey, daddy he has to be defended now. They go under a fake name to defend daddy. Don't do this thing that you're doing. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, 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 come, come back home. And I keep asking them, do you know where I am? Oh, don't, don't be sitting where you're sitting and, and, and giving orders. But Trump is in, is in Washington, D.C., giving orders to American troops in Afghanistan. Is Trump in Afghanistan? But you claim you went to school. <laughs> oh, dear. We have come to the end of our program this very morning. We are going to reconvene, of course, you know that very well, this very afternoon. We are going to reconvene this afternoon. But we can, you're in trouble, though. Your trouble have just started. That's your Baba in the north that, um, you know, I, I should have bring out the picture of Nyesham Wike tying uh, um, that uh, the sheet on his head. Bring it out. When they tied it on you, look at all those colors. Anytime they tie that nonsense on your head, you're finished. They tied it on your head and you're not talking rubbish. You want to give the sacred land of Biafra to Fulani people from Gambia, from Senegal. You're an idiot. Your problem... I've only just begun. Now, we have come to the end of the program this very day. Not this very morning. I'm coming back in the afternoon. Comes Uberike. Let me just rest. Uh, I have just, uh, I have honey. Let me try and take some honey so that my throat can, let, let us see what will happen and then I'll come back live on air when everywhere is rocking. It's a revolution. Destroy every police station. Destroy every police station. Do not touch your fellow citizens. Do not engage yourself in any form of robbery. Because what you're doing is spiritual. If you engage yourself in robbery or be doing stupid audition, then you're putting yourself in danger. You are also endangering the lives of other people as well. Remain resolute. Remain very strong. But above all, put your trust in the Most High Elohim and kill everybody who comes to kill you. Destroy every police station. Destroy every police station. When, after this whole thing, believe you me, there will be no more extrajudicial killing. I swear. Destroy all of them. Destroy them. Thank you very much for listening from me from here. Good morning. <laughs>